Hi guys, it's Becky at Naked Without Polish, and I decided today that I'm going to do a My Favorite Things of March 2012. Um, I've been sick. I wanted to do some more product reviews um, from things that I had used, but yeah, I wasn't using much over the past few days. I have had no energy, um, so yeah, didn't didn't do much. Um, but I did come across some products this month that I absolutely love. Um, some cosmetics, some not, um, but I'm going to share them all anyways. Um, so yeah, I apologize for the sound of my voice because I've been sick and um, pay no attention to my lack of makeup because I only did it so I could show off on one of my products, but I still am not in much of a mood to do my makeup lately. Um, yeah, and I am going to also apologize because I have realized that there's no way for me to flip my video before or after I shoot it. Because um, I'm just using Photo Booth on my MacBook and apparently my version doesn't have the flip. So um, I have a flip camera, but I don't like that I can record but not see myself as I'm shooting. Because um, for some reason that's a little comforting. So I think I'm going to have to look into asking... Santa Claus or somebody for my birthday maybe I don't know but I'm gonna have to look into a tiny handheld that I can flip the screen around so I can watch but anyways um, first product Stila Prime Pot um, it's primer and uh, put it on before you do your shadow and it helps you use less shadow to get the look you're going for and, and it just protects from splotching and and this is actually waterproof this is in taffy and it's just a little tiny thing see not very big and it only fits in the top section it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom but you just barely put it on your finger and then rub it on um, but awesome, but you can see I'm using it on this eye, not this eye, and you can see I've got little splotches and oily spots and but it's it's fantastic. It helps keep the shadow on a little bit smoother. but yeah, fantastic item. Uh, cost me twenty dollars. I went to go sign up for Birchbox and they weren't taking subscriptions, so they gave me a free shipping code. So this is what I used to buy that. Um, let's do cosmetic out of the way. Nail polish is the second one. Two new brands I tried. The lovely Lisa over at Cosmetic Sanctuary sent me this little beauty. This is Cinderella and it is my new favorite blue. I'm a big blue and purple polish fan. And I don't have a Walgreens. And I hadn't been able to find this anywhere else in my stores. And I didn't want to pay for shipping. But she sent this to me. And it's just absolutely beautiful. You can't see what it is. But it's just a pale color of Cinderella's dress from the Disney movie. Um, and it's got little pink macro micro tiny flecks of glitter and it's it's just probably one of the most perfect blues I've ever seen love and this is only two coats it's nice and it's perfect and this has been on for a couple days hasn't chipped love next everybody looks for that perfect yellow polish that doesn't make you look stick that you don't have to put put a gazillion coats on this is it and I actually have this and the robin on my toes. Um, I'm not going to show you my toes, don't worry. That's weird. Um, but trust me, perfect. Zoya, um, they recently had a buy three, get three. And so I decided might as well go ahead and try this product while it was on sale. Love me on sale. But this is Pippa. This is Pippa. And she is perfect. Love. If you need a good yellow, it's $8 on Zoya, and it is well, well, well worth it. Yeah, Zoya.com. Love. Um, my next product has nothing to do with 
anything, but it's cosmetic because it has to do with water. Brita water bottle. No, we have we have crappy water here where we live, and I was getting tired of going through so many water bottles. So, um, and we don't even use our tap water to cook with pasta, coffee. Mm -mm. It's just gross. So we buy gallons of water for that, but um, I had bought one bottle of this for me and one for my husband, and he never uses his very much, so I've decided I use one, one is in the fridge, and then I can swap, wash, refill. Fantastic. I wish I had ten of these. I really do. They're $9.99 in stores, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond. If you go to Bed Bath & Beyond, at least if you have a 20% off coupon, it helps, but fantastic. It's just a carbon filter that needs to be replaced every 200 refills. Not too shabby, but fantastic. And I don't get that little brain freeze because sometimes I tend to chug, and I don't like the chugging, but sometimes I feel the need to. But yeah, so that's good. Um, okay, next, I've got two lotions. Um, I got really dry skin. Hands, legs, feet, elbows, it's all dry. Um, my lips even get really, really, really bad dry. But I use Carmex on my lips during the winter to help keep them normal. Otherwise, they start peeling and get really weird. Carmex came out with a lotion, so I had to try it. Sorry, that's my daughter laughing. Um, Fantastic. I've been using this on my hands, and um, I mix it on my elbow. I'll do this and the other one I'm going to show you, because um, I get really weird scaly elbows um, every once in a while, which I don't get. But Anyway, so Carmex hand lotion, very, very light scent. It's really practically perfect. Um, it's not thick. It, it feels like a normal lotion, but fantastic. Um, I think the only place I've been able to find this so far is CBS, but I'm keeping my eyes open, but it's still pretty new. Um, next one is Suave Advanced Therapy. Um, it's for, uh, dry skin. And I use this on my legs, my shins, my calves, um, every morning and every night, and, um, also on my elbows and arms if needed. Fantastic. I think it's only like $2.49. It's not expensive, but this actually works really well. Swab is on the up and up in my book. Um, I've been using their Rosemary Mint Shampoo and Conditioner, and I just, it smells like I'm in a spa every time I take a shower. Love it. Um, yeah, that product, those two lotions, and I'm set. I mean, I'll try others to do reviews because I'm very picky when it comes to things, but. The Carmex has really helped my hands. They're not as dry as they used to be. I used to get really peely and cracked around my nail beds, um, and not so much anymore. It's great. Um, next item, bad girl. I'm really, really horrible when it comes to doing my hair. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it with a passion. I don't know why. It's just annoying. It's annoying. It never does what I want it to do. If I want to do something special, I would much rather put it up in a ponytail or... Are you singing? No? Okay. Um, sorry. You want to say hi? She's refusing to eat broccoli at the moment. Um, she woke up before I could do my video, so I, uh decided to be nice and put on some Yo Gabba Gabba for her. Anyways, um, Paul Mitchell Fast Foam. Um, I have started using this after I get out. Um, I let my hair towel dry while I do my basics, tweeze my eyes, clean my ears, lotion, deodorant, blah blah blah. Um, and then before I do my makeup, I comb my hair out and toss some of that in with my fingers and then I comb it in and then I just toss it in a bun while I do my makeup before I blow dry. And it helps tame it so it feels like I've done something but I don't, I just recently even started blow drying my hair but um, 
I don't straighten, I don't curl, I don't have the patience if somebody can teach me. Now, when my hair does get a little bit longer, I will tell you that I will be testing out the hair bun curl theory. So, pray my hair grows fast because that's something I'm really looking forward to trying out, but I really want my hair to be a little bit longer for that. Um, we did the nail polish, did the Stila. I think that's it. Those are my favorite things for March. Um, can't wait to see what I come across for April. And very excited for April. Um, spring colors, new manis, and check out my blog and nakedwithoutpolish.blogspot.com and pay no attention to that. And find me on Facebook and I'll be seeing you.